Hi, I'm Saurabh from Exa Protocol and today I'm going to show you a sneak peek into Exa Compute. In our white paper, we briefly mentioned that Exa Protocol will be extended to providing compute so that you can run your web apps on a network of mobile devices. Today, I'm really excited to share that we have now the capability to execute code on a network of mobile devices. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the setup. Uh, we are uh, on the Exa network uh, and my phone is connected and I'm running this interface where I can uh, deploy my code. Then I can see my output on the right hand side. So let's uh, take a dive into it. So on the left, you can see an interface where you can write your code in JavaScript and on the right, see the result of uh, the code once you deploy it. During the execution, we provide some runtime variables that is exa, which is an object that stores your code execution parameters and of course the output. Now in order to get the output of the code, all we need to do is assign the output key of the exa object for example, we can assign exa.output equal to hello from exa compute. So let's deploy this code. So the code has been deployed. My phone has picked up the code and it is currently executing it. Once this, okay, this has been executed, I can check the result. So here is the result. Uh, this is hello from exa compute, which was put in in this variable. Now let's do something more complex. Okay, how about a program that prints the first 10,000 digits of pi? I have already written the code. Let me just copy and paste it. And in the end, we assign the exa.output variable uh, with the value of the pi. So let's deploy this code. Again, this has been picked up by my phone and soon this will be executed. So this has been executed. If I check the result, here it is. The first 10,000 digits of pi executed by my phone and it took about 300 milliseconds. Let's do another one. So let's find all the Pythagorean triplets between one and 1,000. So, uh, for this, we are running three nested for loops, each starting from 1 to 1000. From 1 to 1000. Equal to 1000. Equal to 1000. Okay, for each value of i, j, and k, we are trying to find a triplet that satisfies this equation, that is k square is equal to i square plus j square and then what we are doing is we are assigning the exa.output to the values that we determine that is k i and j so all in all uh, this, this uh, nested for loop will iterate about 1 billion times over this if statement and let's see how my phone fares so i'm deploying this code So my phone has picked it up. And my phone has executed the code. Now if I click on check result. So here they are. It's the Pythagorean triplets from 1 to 1000. And it took about 5 seconds. So what I've shown you is very similar to AWS's Lambda functions or Google Cloud's cloud function. There your code is executed by the server farms, but on Exa Compute, the code is executed by a network of mobile devices. Just like in AWS where you can upload the entire code zip and then run it at your own convenience, the same way you will be able to upload your code zip on Exa network and invoke it at any time. The best part is, you will be paid whenever your phone executes the code. 
So whenever your phone is sitting idle, it is mining crypto for you by executing these codes. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Exo protocol is currently under development and you can register your device as a node today by using our early access app. I've mentioned the app link in the description. Cheers guys, have a good one.